The U.S. government has been clear. Huawei is a national security threat. Sanctions were supposed to cripple the company and curb China's rising influence. But here's the paradox. While our politicians talk tough, Americans are still buying record amounts of Chinese-made products. Is something not adding up? Welcome back to Histransform L. Today, we're looking into a controversial topic, how U.S. sanctions against Huawei might be backfiring and actually accelerating China's rise as a tech superpower. Stay tuned, because this is a story about contradictions, mistrust, and a rapidly changing global landscape. Last month, China recorded its largest trade surplus ever, including with the United States. Despite what politicians say, we're still buying a ton of Chinese-made products, from Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon, you name it. So how do we make sense of this contradiction? The answer might lie in a deeper issue, a growing gap between what our government says and what the public is actually doing. And that gap could be due to one simple reason. Americans just don't trust their institutions anymore. 20 years ago, Americans had the highest confidence in their federal government among the G7 countries. Today, we're at the bottom. Gallup surveys show trust in key institutions. Small businesses, the military, even the medical system is plummeting. Take Congress, for example. Only 8% of people trust it. Think about that. If a congressman says, it's raining outside, don't forget your umbrella, 92% of people would probably plan a picnic instead. This mistrust is critical because it explains why so many Americans ignore what their leaders say about China and Huawei. Now let's shift to Huawei's response. Instead of backing down, Huawei doubled down, creating its own supply chains, sourcing every component from within China. This shift didn't just make Huawei more resilient, it made them a bigger threat to their competitors. Huawei's CEO even said that America doesn't understand what's happening. The U.S. is turning a once-friendly company into a major competitor. And now, with their independent supply chains, Huawei is setting its sights on capturing even more market share, this time at the expense of American companies. So were these sanctions successful? Not really. Sure, they've removed some Huawei equipment from U.S. networks, but the reality is more complicated. Huawei gear is still in use in government and military communications. Here's a shocking statistic. Only 12% of major U.S. government contractors have fully removed Huawei equipment, despite the law being passed over five years ago. Even the U.S. military has been getting waivers to keep using Huawei tech. Our allies? They're struggling too, because alternatives are just too expensive. So what does this all mean? The U.S. sanctions intended to cripple Huawei may actually be pushing China to the forefront of the global tech industry. Instead of weakening them, we might be giving them the tools to become even stronger. As we watch this story unfold, one thing is clear. Global power dynamics are shifting, and the consequences of these policies might be far more significant than anyone anticipated. So what do you think? Are these sanctions really working? or are they backfiring? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more in-depth analysis on topics that matter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.